going to be radically different. Uh, right now, there are two problems. One is that there's a t the wrong mindset. As, as I mentioned, a lot of doctors, most doctors will treat diseases often when it's too late. And uh, with, with the wrong mindset, uh, doctors are not inclined to try and prevent you from getting uh, aging. Uh, the second is that we don't have a lot of technology. Uh, right now, even if doctors wanted to slow aging, they only have a couple of things they can do and they can advise to eat less often and do exercise. But in the future, 10, 15 years from now, doctors will have uh, the knowledge and the tools to be able to give a 40, 50 year old uh, a weekly or even a daily medicine that would delay the aging process so that you don't get cancer in your 70s, you don't have a heart attack in your 80s or dementia in your 90s. And if you don't get sick, you live longer. Yeah. So this is the, the approach to medicine of the future. You know, it's very similar to 100 years ago where, you know, we didn't understand cancer, we didn't understand infection very well. And doctors would say, okay, there's not much we can do. We can cut it out. We can cut off a limb. But, yeah. you know, go, go home and get your things in order. Once we understood that it's bacteria you can kill uh, and that uh, you can actually treat cancer with medicines, uh, we started to treat these really like uh, things that are not necessarily a, a death sentence. And aging is like that. We're slowly understanding that we can push it further out and we can actually do something about it.